Hey everyone, Charles here at E-Trailer, and today we're taking a look at the Yakima Stage 2 bike rack on a 2022 Kia Telluride. This bike rack is going to be great for carrying a lot of different kinds of bikes as far as its weight capacity. You can carry up to 60 pounds per bike, and because it is a front wheel mount, you can carry a lot of odd shaped frame style bikes, and your carbon frame style bikes, you're not going to have to worry about it damaging or warping the frame. But this bike rack has a lot of really cool features that all add up to make it a really premium option for, us, for bike racks. One of them being an integrated cable lock for each bike rack. They're all gonna be keyed alike with each other as well as on the self-tensioning knob that we'll get into in just a bit. The trays are also ladder styled so they're going to be offset just a little bit it's going to minimize the bike to bike contact and it's going to give you a little bit of extra clearance backing down those steep driveways another great feature about this rack is you can tilt it away and that way you can leave your bikes on if you need to get anything out of your hatch like your book bags helmets waters whatever you need for your bike ride And folding it up, just utilize this handle. And there's not a real loud audible click, but you are going to see this handle push back in. So we have two attachment points keeping the bike on the, on the rack, the front wheel mount and a strap for the rear wheel. To remove the bike, we're going to start with the strap and get it out of the way. And another little feature that makes this rack pretty cool is a lot of times when you put your front wheel mount on this part isn't always there but with its design you can easily slide that in place just like that but anyway keeping one hand on the bike so it doesn't fall in your vehicle we can now push this button lift up and push that out of the way and now our bike is free with the bike off we can take a closer look at these cradles you can see that we have a thin groove to support your road bikes and your three and a quarter mountain bikes all the way up to your five inch fat tire bikes but you will need a additional strap sold separately to accommodate those five inch fat tire bikes and the rear cradle will slide back and forth to accommodate your wheel bases of up to 52 inches with a bike rack on your hitch you have some added length to your vehicle and from the bumper to the furthest point of this rack, we are at about 37 and a half inches, something to keep in mind when you're backing in a tight space. And the ground clearance to the bottom of this handle is gonna be about 22 and a quarter inches. And then from the shank, it's gonna be about 11 and a half inches another thing to keep in mind when you're going up and down those steep driveways or hills the front of your vehicle is going to go up and the rear is going to go down and the closest point from the bumper to this part right here is going to be about three and a half inches we can also save room by folding this up it's going to be handy when we're parking in our garage and so now the distance added from the bumper to the furthest point of the rack is now reduced down to 12 and a quarter inches. And the closest point is gonna be about five inches, but nothing to worry about as it's not gonna get any closer than that. We can also convert this two bike bike rack into a four bike by getting the add-on. It can also be purchased as a four bike bike rack, but you can always just add that on later down the road if you decide that you wanna have four bikes. Additionally, to help load and unload your heavier electric bikes, you can get a ramp that will attach to the rear of the bike rack, just making that a little bit easier. So my one complaint about this is how large it is. It's obviously gonna block our rear backup camera, but if that's something you can live with, then this is a great option for you. Over here, we have our two inch shank that fits into our two inch hitch receiver. We have an alignment pin here, but all the real action is gonna go into the self-tensioning speed knob. It's gonna make it a toolless installation, so that's really handy not having to worry about if you have your spare ratchet in your vehicle. But we just stick it in there, attach the pin, and rotate this clockwise to tighten this up. 
and as you can see as i'm shaking the rack the whole vehicle is moving ensuring its secure connection overall this is a great bike rack a lot of premium features in this one again the only gripe is how large it is blocking the rear backup camera but honestly a lot of bike racks are going to do that if you want something a little bit more economical check out the rocky mounts monorail bike rack but other than that this is a great choice and that does it for our look on the Yakima Stage 2 bike rack on a 2022 Kia Telluride.